pull up in the boat, high tide to a white sandy beach. It was just an idyllic setting. You'd walk up onto the land and it was a, a really dense tropical rainforest. It was, yeah, untouched. Untouched. Pristine. It was, and it was special, eh, Wood? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Heaven on earth. <laughs> So it was very spectacular, like environmentally and everything about it. The grand plan was to do um, three bureaus at the start um, that consisted of like two bedrooms in each bureau um, so that Jonah, Woody and myself had somewhere that we could sort of maybe call home for a while. Real casual thing, it's not like a resort with all the bells and whistles, it's, it was going to be pretty, pretty low impact keeping yeah. within the environment. I mean, we worked out pretty early that if you have something small, there's a potential that you could run it through solar with the heat up here in the sun. How did, how did you hear about what was happening first? It happened really quick. Yeah. Really, really quick. It was just unfathomable. You walk up and then, like, our beach isn't there. It's going, our beach is not there. Our trees are not there. Our access is not there. Like, everything was gone. And there's dead reef all over the place, like, crustaceans that are crushed and just, you know, like, it was just utter devastation. Like it was, yeah, it was cr pretty crazy. Once, once environmental damage happened, it sort of went away from just our land to a major environmental catastrophe. And that's where we went, okay, we've got to do the right thing here. <laughs> like, it's not just about us. It's about the whole area. We just thought it was really important to maybe draw a line in the sand and kind of go, well, hang on, this is a little bit bigger than just us right now. Need to look after the earth and do the right thing. Get those guys to at least abide by the rules that Fiji have got in place. It couldn't have turned out worse, could it really? For a couple of guys who are nature lovers and <laughs> environmentally conscious. No, I don't think it could have. It was um, destruction at its worst, I think. We've had discussions with sort of marine specialists and that could be, that'd probably be the worst thing that could happen is it just getting the dead reef, the crushed dead reef, get put back where it was. Um, there's going to have to be some sort of rectification, sort of stabilising and regeneration process that, that'll have to happen. Um, but, you know, really there's a right way and a wrong way to do things, you know. Like, they might be entitled to do their resort, but, you know, they need to get proper approvals, proper assessments done, proper environmental steps need to be taken. Um, you know, and the size and the, of this whole venture needs to be looked at so it doesn't wreck Fiji for why people come here. They've broken just about every law that, that Fiji have got in place for the environment and they're still here. So, you know, it's worrying, it's really worrying, you know, especially from an environmental standpoint. The Prime Minister has publicly come out and said anyone that does this sort of destruction in Fiji will be kicked out. He's super, super passionate about climate change and climate control, which the mangroves is a huge part of that equation. Um, so I don't think he'd want to see that sort of thing going on in his backyard. So he has said that and I think he'll follow through with it and do the right thing for his country. and the environment. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.